basic concept of work and power well whenever i ask students about work and power they always say that energy is the ability to do work and power is the rate at which work is done according to the textbook both the answer are correct but here comes a big pause when i ask them how can you explain work and power in your daily life believe me 90% students cannot answer this question i mean they only know the basic definitions they do not have basic concepts or they cannot relate these concepts to daily life examples therefore after watching this video you will learn very simple and easy concept of work and power for example consider this stationary ball let i kick this ball and exert 8 newton force on the ball as a result the ball will start moving in the direction of applied force after covering some distance the ball will stop due to ground's friction let this ball has covered 5 meter distance and time 10 seconds now we know that work and energy is the same thing are two faces of the same coin in physics we know that when we exert force and it displaces an object in its direction we say that energy is used our work is done here we have delivered or transferred some energy to the ball that's why the ball is displaced now if i ask you how much energy is transferred to the ball the answer is simple energy is equal to force and to distance covered we know that we exert 8 newton force and the ball covers 5 meter distance we get 8 newton into 5 meter is equal to 40 newton meter note it down that i use another and a very famous as a unit of energy which is joule so i can write energy is equal to 40 joule thus remember that we have done 40 joule work or we have used 40 joule energy to move the ball across 5 meter distance let me repeat it we have done 40 joule work or we have used 40 joule energy to move the ball across 5 meter distance therefore work and energy is the ability to displace an object in the direction of applied force or it is the ability to do some sort of work now coming to the climax of this lecture if i ask you how much energy is delivered to the ball every second can you guess the answer well the answer is very simple we know that we have transferred 40 joule energy in 10 second so i will divide the 40 joule energy by 10 second i get 4 joule per second or instead of joule per second we use watt which is very famous unit thus we say that we have delivered or transferred 4 joule energy every second to keep the ball moving let me repeat it we have delivered or transferred 4 joule energy every second to keep the ball moving also we can say that ball needs 4 joule energy every second to move the time 4 joule energy becomes zero the ball will stop now listen carefully this term energy per second is known as power therefore personally i say that power is the energy delivered to an object per second or we say power is the energy used by an object per second for example you may see 1000 watt at the back of the tv it means that we need 1000 joule energy every second to keep operating the tv or this tv uses 1000 joule energy every second similarly you may see 15 watts on your phone charger it means that we need 15 joule energy every second to charge our cell phone therefore when someone asks you about daily life example of work and power you should always answer by stating that we need energy to run any object like tv while power teaches us that how much energy is used by the tv in 1 second 
आई होप डेट यू हैव लर्न द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ वर्क एंड पावर